What is Arduino, you ask? Well, just like it says right here, Arduino is an open source electronics platform based on easy to use hardware and software. It's intended for anyone making interactive projects. Now that is the short version of it, but <laughs> it doesn't end right there. We're going to take a look at what it says on their website right here. Okay, Arduino is an open source electronics platform based on easy to use hardware and software. Arduino boards are able to read inputs, light on a sensor, a finger on a button, or a Twitter message and turn it into an output. Activating a motor, turning on an LED, publishing something online. You can tell your board what to do by sending a set of instructions to the microcontroller on the board. To do so, use the Arduino programming language based on wiring and the Arduino software IDE based on processing. Over the years, Arduino has been the brain of thousands of projects from everyday objects to complex scientific instruments. Yes. A worldwide community of makers, students, hobbyists, artists, programmers, and professionals has gathered around this open source platform. Their contributions have added up to an incredible amount of accessible knowledge that can be of great help to novices and experts alike. What's that mean to us in model railroading? Well, let's go take a look at what we can do with Arduino in your model railroad and how we can get that working very easily. Well, let's start off by introducing you to the Arduino website. Here you can find a lot of information about Arduino. You could order anything from Arduino. You have selections up here for hardware, software, the cloud, documentation. A lot of good information right here. Community, you have a forum, you have a Discord. You have a project hub where you could find a lot of different projects on there. Arduino Week, which tells you new information each week, and users groups. There is a blog and the about. So you have professional education and the stores. Here we go to the basic Arduino boards. Arduino Uno Revision 3, Starter Kit, Arduino Mega, the Nano, Arduino Nano 33 IoT with headers. This is directly from Arduino. You can get Arduino from Amazon a little bit cheaper. Or you could get the knockoffs since it is open source. Open source means that it can be copied. The boards can be copied and the software can be copied. So you don't have to worry about using any other people's software or sketches because it is all open source it is encouraged to copy it that's the easiest thing about arduino now let's go back let's learn arduino okay check out arduino documents and here you'll find everything that you want to know about arduino all the different boards how to install, learn Arduino, everything that you need to know about it. How about let's get to getting started. Getting started with Arduino projects. Gives you an explanation of Windows, Max, Linux, Portable, IDE, Chrome, OS, Chrome Web Store. Oh my goodness, it is available everywhere. So you have a multitude of reasons to start with Arduino and the best reason is because it's easy and if you don't think it's easy you could go to my Arduino made easier playlist that I have right up there or it you can see it in the description down below for a basic start with Arduino I break it down and put it into easy terms of how to get started with Arduino. What you're going to become familiar with is the inputs and outputs. Everything on the edge of the Arduino board itself. 
right up here is the USB connection. There is a push button right here for a reset. This is the barrel connector for your 7 to 12 volt DC input. On this side of the Arduino, these are your ground and voltage, 3.3 and 5 volts. Here are your inputs right here. And on this side is basically all your outputs. And you have a few indicator LEDs on the board to give you a visual representation of what is going on at times. So this is the basic Arduino right here. This is the Uno Revision 3. This is the easiest one that everyone gets started with right here. Tech specs! That's what we all like to hear. All right, the name Arduino Uno R3 SKU AAA 66 at microcontroller at mega 328p USB connector USB dash B okay built in LED pin is number pin 13 digital input output pins there are 14 of them analog input pins there are six PWM pins if you want to have flickering lights and stuff like that or you want to run your servos you have six pins on there for that. UART, yes, we'll get into that later on. I squared C, yes, SPI, yes. Input, output, voltage, five volts. Okay, on the input voltage on that barrel connection, it's anywhere between seven to nine volts. You could even use a nine volt battery on there with a little adapter to plug into that barrel connector DC current per IO pin 20 milliamps power supply connector is that barrel plug all right processor is at mega 328p at 16 megahertz speed USB serial processor at mega 16 u2 at 16 megahertz memory 32 kilobyte flash one kilobyte eprom that's where you could store certain memory on the arduino itself and it keeps it in there and most importantly 25 grams of weight 53.4 millimeter width and the length is 68.6 millimeters one place on the website arduino.cc you won't want to get familiar with is the Arduino cloud. You could sign in, create an account, and you could connect your Arduinos to the IoT cloud, or you could use the web editor like I do. This is where I store a lot of my useful information, my sketches that I have on my website are actually stored right here and you can see the Arduino made easy sketches right here this is lesson number one it's just the basic blink I have lesson 1 through 10 on here and you can see it on my web page also and you can see it on my YouTube videos in the playlist Arduino made easy easier but this is a good place where you can work on your arduino sketches and keep them in the cloud so you could work on them no matter where you are say if you have your desktop over here and you're working on it you could put it on here and you're working on your layout you go onto your laptop and you could work on it from there it's always accessible to you you can also write your code locally on the IDE, which you can see right here where you, on the downloads page. The current one is 1.18.19. It's available for Windows, Linux, and the Mac. So you could download it right here. This is the way that I prefer to do it. I do it locally. And once I have everything tested out, I put it on the web so I could publish it on my web page. When learning Arduino, you're going to want to have some reference to look at. And you can do that right here on the web page under 
language reference and all you have to do is go down here and whatever you have a question with or you want to find some examples you just click on it and it gives you an example to look at now the other part is the built-in examples and this is the basics analog read serial bare minimum code needed blink digital read serial fading a led reading read analog voltage and digital and it goes on and on analog and a lot of this i cover in my arduino made easy or playlist and if you want to see what other people are doing with arduino just click on the project hub and you can see thousands of projects on there going back several years <laughs> all kind of good stuff that you can check out on here uh, it looks like there's over 275 pages on here altogether no matter what you want to check out on there it is on here somebody has done it you can copy the sketches you can copy everything get some ideas this is giving an example of just one of them people put their diagrams on there and it tells you what you will need and gives you example of the code right there and so look through all those examples to get yourself some ideas of how the code works and how how people can imagine different things with arduino and if you ever run into problems you can always go to the arduino forum where you could ask questions from experts who use arduino all the time there's different headings using arduino projects discussions and showcase hardware different topics on there just ask a question if you don't see anything in there that you are asking you could create your own question in the forum to give you an example of what you can do with this here's just a simple sketch just playing around with leds on here doing them in a sequence back and forth if there are specific things that you want to learn about Arduino, hit me up with an email at Tom's Trains and Thing at gmail.com or leave a message in the comments right here. I'll be doing a lot more projects in Arduino and electronics, and I'll be putting in a few more Arduino made easier projects also. So if you want to if you want something specific that I haven't already done in the videos that I've already done in Arduino made easier, then let me know about it. I'll be sure to cover that topic. So until the next time, we'll see ya.